In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how I improve my double tonguing. You're going to need one thing, well two, a trumpet and a metronome. And some of these studies I base off of Clark's characteristic studies, his tonguing things he has in the beginning. In order to double tongue efficiently, you need to be able to single tongue as well. So the first thing that I do is work on my single tonguing. And I take 16th notes and I repeat them over and over again at a slow tempo. I always start around 80 clicks, so let me demonstrate that first. So that's 80 beats a minute. I try to keep the articulation light, try to use the word T or TA, I keep them separated, and I don't try to play too loud, play nice and soft. As soon as I'm done at 80 clicks, I always bump the metronome up 4 clicks. So I move up in 4 click instruments, increments. So now I'll go at 84 beats a minute. So I continue to repeat that and move the metronome up four clicks each time until I reach a point where I feel like I can't go any further. So from now I go from 84 to 88, 88 to 92, and so on and so forth. So I'll meet you back here when I get to about, I've been stopping around 108 right now. So that's about as far as I can go. So now I've gone through and I've set my metronome four click increments and now I'm up to 104 beats a minute, so I'll resume right there. I'll bump it up four more to about 108, where I usually stop, at least for right now. So I'm starting to feel pretty comfortable about 108. The next move would be 112, then 116, and 120. Just keep going until you can't stop. Now the key to doing this is often, um, every day if you possibly can. So that's the single tonguing. Once you've got that down, then you can move on to the double tonguing. So we finished the single tonguing exercise. Now I'm ready to move on to the double tonguing. When I double tongue, I use a wide variety of syllables. But when I work on my double tonguing it most frequently, I use ta and ka. So it's important that you understand that you can use the front of your tongue for the ta, and you work on the back of the tongue, ka, for that. And you, you want to work on those separately. So what I do is I take eight eighth notes, ta, 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 ta. And I use different patterns here with my tongue and I play this over and over again until I get through all those patterns. So the first time I play those eight eighth notes, I play ta with my front of my tongue. The next time I go around, I play ka with the back of my tongue. Then four ta's, four ka's, two and two, and then finally on the bottom here, I'm double tonguing the way it's supposed to be. But I go through each one of those first so that I can work on the front of my tongue and the back of my tongue er, um, together. 
So, again, I start the metronome at 80 clicks a minute. And I'll play through one, two, three, four, and five until I get through that whole thing. So I've played all the way through that. Now I bump the metronome by four clicks. So now I'm up at 84 and I repeat again. After I do that, I keep bumping it up four clicks, four clicks, so I'll be at 88, then 92, then 96, then 100. It's important to keep in mind that you want to separate and put a little space between those notes as you go through it. Uh, you also want to try to make the ta's sound exactly like the ka's if you possibly can. So I'm at 84 clicks a minute. I'm going to keep going up until I reach about the spot that I usually stop. So I'll meet you right around 140 clicks a minute. So I've been increasing the metronome by four clicks per time. And now I'm at 136 beats a minute. And I'm still going through this. Four more clicks. So I'm at 152. I would keep going until I feel like I am starting to break down a little bit. Um, I've been going around 160. I could probably go upwards a little bit, but for this case, I'll show you what I'll explain to you what I'm going to do next. So after I get all the way up there doing this over and over until I feel like I'm about ready to stop, I return the metronome all the way back down to 80. And I start at 80 clicks a minute, and I simply do the lower level five and double tongue uh, using sixteenth notes. Tucka 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 tucka. Tucka 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 tucka. Just as I did the, the single tonguing, except now I'm double tonguing, and I'll do that over and over again. So I finished with the practicing of the double tonguing, try to separate the ta's and the ka's. And now I'm back up to here, simply double tonguing. So I set the metronome at 80. And I use taka taka. Increase the speed, four clicks to eighty four. So I'm at eighty four. I'm going to keep bumping the metronome up four clicks until I reach a point where it's too fast for me to keep going. 
So I will meet you back here when I'm up to about 140 again. So now I've kept bumping the metronome up four clicks and I've reached 136 beats a minute and I'm still continuing the double tongue. Taka 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 taka. So I'll keep bumping that metronome up four clicks until I reach a point that I'm uncomfortable with. <laughs> about 160 and I could maybe go one more up to 164 but I'm gonna stop right there um, it's important that you keep pushing yourself to go faster and faster as, as soon as you get more comfortable but try not to push yourself too hard now this exercise is not your one and done exercise this is just one simple one that you can use to reinforce your double tonguing what I like about it is it starts really slow and it gradually increases and it also focuses on the, the real fundamental part uh, in the fact that you have to do ta and cause and it works both of them uh, by doing that. So I hope this exercise is helpful to you and good luck with your double tonguing.